Hey everyone, Valence here again, and <laughs> this is the Blackwell Legacy by Wadjet Eye Games. And I thought I would I would start playing some more games, period, and then also uh, some more point and clicks. Uh, I've actually had the Blackwell, uh, I think, four of their games on Steam, but I just bought them again on good old games so I can actually, you know, actually own them there. So yeah, I thought oh, let's let's get through them. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna play them all in a row. I'll mix it up. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully. I don't. I don't really know much about it. I know about Wajedi games because I've played a bunch of their titles before, and I've really liked them. Uh, I remember when I first came back to Point and Clicks. You know, I've just been been with the classics. You know, King's Quest and all that. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what new games there are. And they had a game that I'll probably play for the for the channel. Maybe. I don't know. And it blew me away, and I loved it, and I've liked a lot of their games since then, so. Would you like to activate in-game instructions? No? Will I need them? Note, you can still view instructions by clicking the help button. Okay, that's fine. Oh, day one. I don't really know anything about this game. What it's about or how it plays. Just so, oh, I so guess this is it. I guess there's voice there's acting. Watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. What's going on? Do I love you? Do I miss you? Uh oh. I don't know for sure. I hardly know you, but you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. That is something. Bye, Auntie. No! Oh, she died. It's her ashes. I get it now. Well, you just spread wherever she is now. She's dust in the wind. Oh, shit. Or not. Is there gonna be ghosts? Wajedi Games presents... A game, game by Dave Gilbert. Starring Rebecca Whitaker, a I don't know any of these people though. Those are other people that did art. Credits are at the beginning. Might as well. Backgrounds look interesting. I mean, they kind of everything's a little low res. It almost looks like an oil painting though. It's pretty cool. The Blackwell Legacy. All right, cool. All Good right. Morning. What a morning. You started your day off with dumping ashes off? Alright, windows. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. Damn it, I want you to break and enter. What's wrong with you? Alright, is there like a menu that comes up? Yes, there is. Ooh, there's a letter. Hey. No. Wait, what? Why won't it, why can't I take it? Can I read it? Alright. Dr. Donald Quentin, Bellevue Medical Hospital, New York, New York, October 12, 2006. Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Donald Quentin, and I was your aunt's primary care physician here at Bellevue Hospital. I have seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Shh, damn. Please accept my heartfelt con condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office at any time. I am sure we have much to discuss. Sincerely, Donald Quentin, MD. I am guess that's where I'm going now. Hey, exit. Hey, teenager. Hi there. Um, hi? Hi. So who are you visiting today? Express surprise. Well, I'll make an what inquiry. What are you talking about? Seriously, who are you here to see? I can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? Yeah. No, I don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Do I know? Is this really my house? Is this a ruse? What's going on, game? Uh, I'll state the facts. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. Is this I've a... lived here for five years. Is this a puzzle? How come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. What? What the fuck? Get out of here, you little shit. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. Jim right. Birdo. Jim, where's the regular doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's oh on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. 
Okay. Or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Oh my well, god. That's not my problem. So... I'll Listen, give I'm my address. Here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E. Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No, no I live there, goddammit. And I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Oh my yes. God, please. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Oh my God, why? Why don't you take your Come shit on, with this you? This is New York. Who actually drives? True. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. So, okay. So this is threatened violence. These are a lot of options for this shit. So I guess this is puzzle number one. Prove I live here. Uh, I'll ask How about the strike, the strike I guess. I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. Oh, you're so useful. Okay. I have no ID and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Yes, tell me the solution to this puzzle. Anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Seriously. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Okay. What? Who is this Nis? Where is... Uh, Nish? Oh, come on. Nishanti. You just heard it. Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing. But I'm sure she could vouch for you. Right, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. Of course. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, uh, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You can look for her there. Okay. Uh, I I'll guess I'll back. leave. See you around. All right. Uh, goodbye, you little shithead. Okay. So. Wait, okay, how do I... Okay, I just gotta exit. I just gotta go to the exit. I guess I gotta go find Nishanti. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But I probably need to go... Uh, inside my apartment first Washington before I go Square. there. It's been a while since I've been here. It has? Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. Maybe because everyone else is at work? I don't know. There's a sign there. Let's go read the sign. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. That's okay. Mm. Can the I get in park there? The empty. There's no reason to go in there. Well, okay then. To the fountain! Not yet. I guess, yeah, to the fountain. Mm. What? Now I'm getting a stress headache. Why? I need to get home. What the f- what? Okay. We need to go find Ashanti. You do know that- Oh, little puppy! Puppy! I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? It looks like a little French bulldog or a boss of terrier. He's so cute! Right. I recognize her from my building. God damn it. Ashanti Sharma, was it? Yes. This is gonna be awkward. Yeah, I wonder if this game's portrayal of this woman's gonna be awkward. It's looking a little awkward. But look at the puppy! I don't think so. Oh. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. Rightfully so. But we could take it for a walk. Alright, let's go uh, talk to Nishanti. Excuse... I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. Oh They're my god. staring. Well, okay, that's a valid point. That's a valid point. Alright, so now I have to figure out how to... I mean, you just have to wait for her to stop. I don't pet think the so. dog. I don't think so. It'll it'll make my stress I go away. So. God damn it! God damn you! All right. Uh. All right. Well. Uh. Yeah. It's not gonna just. I doubt the solution would be just be patient. Oh, look at the cute puppy! He's following me. I love you. I'll come back. I wonder if there, if I have to like reopen up the park 
take the dog for a walk and then go up and then by that time it's let's just go to the other place I can go well that's a little spooky locked whatever's back there I can't get to it unfortunate what about the fuse box you need a key to open it well fine uh, I don't need to call anyone I don't do have I? anyone to call yeah okay I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. Look at it! Some kind of motivational poster. Oh, okay, you can right-click like things. An phone. Just to look for things, okay. That's my bad. I've been clicking on things thinking it would do both. I'm not stealing stuff from the Yeah. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. Okay. Hey, guard. I, I want to see, see Dr. Dr. Quentin. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? Yes. I've got this letter right here. Okay, looks legit. Go right in. His like, name's on the door, you can't miss it. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Dr. Quentin. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Yes? I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Why, thank you. You got my letter, I trust. I did. Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. We'll do polite correction. Thanks, but she was my aunt, not my mother. Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes, yes, I did. What is but it? Before we go into that, how are you holding up? We're gonna talk about that ghost thing. Complain about your day. Uh, let's complain Just about my day. A really bad morning. Oh. It's. I'll get over it. Just some stuff I have to deal with. You received the ashes? Yes, I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. I saw her ghost, like, right after, so... Paranoid! What does it matter? There I go again, asking so many questions. Oh, that's not what I want. <laughs> Shit. I my request. Right. Auntie was the patient. I wanted to be and nice to this person. For many years. Oh, well. If you'll indulge me one more time, could I ask you why? Family. She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation, like I had to. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead. Life goes on. I'm free! So <laughs> Is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. Your staff read them because they were more interested in you. <laughs> well, I guess that's good. Uh, oh? Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. Well, I'd hope so. They were primarily interested in. Ouch! You know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply. That's their problem. Yeah. Indeed. Sounds like their problem. It's your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case, and now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with me. Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition, and yours too, of course. You mean, the condition of her death? What? We never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Ghosts! I speak from a purely professional perspective. Ghosts! I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I, but fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. Practically. She did was lie there for 20 years. Oh, She'd that sucks. She mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. We kept her sedated. For 20 right. years? She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm. Uh... Especially in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? For 20 Black years? Black, we are not a nursing home. <laughs> intent to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt. And to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie. What the fuck is going on? Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, so was she catatonic? Was she... Being fed sedatives daily? Wait, what do you mean by my condition? Yeah. Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. Oh, good. And in my opinion, 
There is significant cause for concern. Sorry, did you say hereditary? Yeah, that's yes, that's the word I fixated on too. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. And now oh, you grandmother? Yes. Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with a family history. Huh. Oh, I see. I have oh. no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Did anyone else come in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. I do apologize. I just assumed... Jesus Christ, dude. Never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? But at 30... No, I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. Alright, what's... If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming? Her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time. But I kind of remember. In oh, okay, so she's 25 her, now. ...to herself or to others. We were forced to sedate her. I guess. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. Okay. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Oh, good. Pain? What kind of pain? Great that you kept her in that it's state for 20 see, goddamn years. Immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open, she thrashed, her screams. Well, we had to gag her eventually. Oh my god. And oh, god is did right. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no we don't know? Room. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Oh, poor person that lived in absolute pain and agony and anguish or heavy sedation for 25 years. So, I had a grandmother. How is my grandmother? How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same word for word. Uh -huh. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Huh. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. Ask about the so future! What I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware, is all. Wow, that's, that's something to, to lay on someone. There's any concern. There's literally nothing we can do. We just want you to be aware of it. 24-7 for the rest of your fucking life. I couldn't find any other link between the two cases. None, aside from the family connection. Oh yeah, that's not a big one or anything. Name. Oh, a name. What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal, but there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. <laughs> she really wanted to watch Friends. Cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. <laughs> Alright, bye! Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the Ooh, next items kid, to prove the where I live, maybe? It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, good. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Goodbye. My schedule is fairly open now. So, feel free to drop in any time. I'm always oh happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. Goodbye. Alright, well I guess I can just leave. And go to... I don't know, maybe we can go to Washington Square Park and uh... She'll be done, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. So I can get, get into my fucking place. Oh, puppy. Hey, hey, bud. I don't think so. Oh, I hate you. I hate you! Nishanti! Oh, here I go. Um... Um... Uh... No. <laughs> okay, that didn't go so well. No, it didn't. I just need to work myself up to it. Oh, you just had to keep trying? Okay. 
you can do this. Right. Oh my god. Um. Crap. Calm down. Need to calm down. Just right. This is it. This is it. Hi. Um. Can I? Damn it. Is... This is not working. Is I can't it? Do this. I just can't. Is this what I'm supposed to do? No. I can't do this. I just can't. Here. I'll just have to wait until she's finished. Or I don't know. Just. I can't do this with all those people staring at me. All right. Okay. Pet I don't the think dog. So. Pet the fucking dog. You'll calm down. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Well, take the dog for a walk. Okay. I don't. Okay. I don't have any, even have any items. There's nothing else here. All right. Okay. Huh. Well, the only place I can go is my apartment, where it's where it's just teenage asshole over here. Hello again. Hello again. Please, I've had a really tough morning. Seriously. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Show I have your key. Will that proof. Do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Oh my god. So, let me get this straight. You want me to go all the way to the park okay. to look for a woman who might be there. Okay. And yeah, we know she's she there, though. Me. Then, and only then, I'll be granted the privilege of entering my own home? That's pretty much it, yeah. This is really stupid. It is. I'm not the one who forgot my ID. <sighs> I'll be back. See you around. <laughs> if I can figure out how to how to talk talk to her, that is. I mean, I did everything there. Unless I miss an item you need from here. We'll go back to the park one more time. And we'll just Let's look at the sign again. I don't know. Please this... note, dog walking. Hmm. Hmm. The indeed. The dog park is empty. Let's go to the fountain. I mean, this is probably so easy. Maybe you just hang out here, like don't click exit, and like maybe the line will break. Don't click exit. Come on, puppy. Oh, oh, look. Yes! Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, no, I didn't Don't mean to do me. this. I'm coming. This is kind of an accident. There, all better. I what? can't take you anywhere, can I? It's not his fault. No, it's you. It's me. The lady next door. Yeah. It's my fault. Hi. Rhonda, isn't it? No, Rosangela. Rosangela? Oh, Rosangela. I hope my friend Rosangela. Okay, Rosangela Blackwell. Compliment the pooch. That's a cute dog you've got. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't he just? Normally he behaves, but he seems to have taken a shine to you. Oh, great. Anyway, we formally met. I'm Nishanti. Hello, Nishanti. Rosangela. Rose so oh, right. Um, yes. I have a strange favor to ask go ahead and ask what are neighbors for you know that building servicemen strike yes jim birdo is covering isn't he jim yeah, birdo that's the problem see he doesn't recognize me oh oh so you need me to vouch for you yes yeah i know this is pretty stupid it's very Don't stupid about it moti is getting a little cranky anyway let's get you home thanks can we go to the dog park first let's go to the dog park Let's go to the dog park. It's so cute. Mm. Oh my god, I'm Are getting a headache. Right? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Let's keep walking. Let's. All right, you little shit. Let me into my own fucking house, Hello, Jim. place, hey, Miss room. Jim, this is Rosangela. She Rosangela. He does. Okay. I don't Sorry, think I'm gonna get over that. Had to be sure. S syrupy sweet response fuck that let's just do sarcastic well, sure. and you must be so proud of yourself well never mind 
Just get out of my get way. Get out of my way, peasant. Well, here we are. Boy. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Yeah. Well, perhaps. Perhaps. I try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. No, we're not. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Looks like somebody's hungry. Puppy. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Okay. Uh, polite. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? I care. The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? I have the voices in my head. Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes. Um, their names are me, myself, and I. Ha 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 ha. Um, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. Oh, you're your such a card. The park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. She You're wants your eyes. Rosangela, I'm sure. Look out, Rosangela. Hey. Yes? Um, you can call me Rosa, if you like. That's so much Rosangela better. Rosangela's kind of a mouthful, you know? It's a little weird. All right, it's a little Rosa, ridiculous. You have a good day now. I'm sorry for any real Rosangela's out there. Strange lady. Just seems like, hey, we're running out of names. Let's just start combining some together. That's good. Well, we'll go inside. Home. Thank God. Thank goodness. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. Telephone clippings. Just some old book review clippings. Can we take one? They're fine where they are. Okay. You're the boss. My computer. It's a bit old, but it lets me access the internet and do my writing. The only two things you ever need. Uh, I guess we'll go to your computer. Do some writing, turn computer off. Let's do <sighs> some writing. I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe Aren't we all? I'll up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Guess what's going to happen tomorrow? You're going to say the same thing. Looks like it's from Bellevue. And then the next day, and then the next day. Wow, did the music just changed because I picked up a package? Dear Lord, so you have been at NYU for two weeks now and have not called. I'm sure things are busy in the Big Apple, but don't forget the family you left behind. Ouch. Oh, this is 1960. I'm stupid. Things back home are well. Uh, one out of twenty-five. God damn, that's a lot of fucking pages. All right, things back home are well. Jack starts high school on Monday, so he's a bit nervous. You know how he gets. Be sure to write him a letter. He misses his big sister. I admit, I'm still a bit nervous about you living in New York all by yourself. You are carrying ID with you when you go out, like I asked. Ah ha ha! Because we didn't do it. Oh, it's like. Daughter like grandmother? I don't know who the fuck that is. You know me, just be, being a mom, some somebody has to. Keep your head on straight, kid, as your dad would say, and remember that you have a family back home that misses you. Love you, mom and dad and Jack. Uh, hello, sis. I'm writing this on my new St. Clair Model 15. Mom says that improving my handwriting is a, lot, is a lost cause, so she got me this. That's some defeatism. Keen, huh? I've already typed up a few stories on it and this letter can't type for long because dad says the noise drives him up the friggin' wall. What does he know? So how is life in the big bad city? Troy's dead boring as usual. Why do you have to go to college, huh? Yeah, how dare you get an education? There's nobody to talk to in this dump anymore. See you at Thanksgiving, Jacko. December 5th. Dear Lauren, well, Thanksgiving time has come and gone, and so have you. In just two short months, I can already see you evolving into a capable young woman. Aw, you have outgrown this small town, Lauren. That much is obvious. Jack will be following in your footsteps soon, I'm sure. Visiting you in New York is all he talks about. Speaking of Jack, I know you're worried about him. We all are, but don't feel that is your responsibility. You are his sister, and you love him, but he has, he has got to learn to live without you eventually. You are growing up. Let him grow up too. Till Christmas, love mom and dad and Jack. Lauren, can you keep a secret? I don't want to say this over the phone in case mom or dad over here. 
Uh, Mom has been acting odd lately. It started a few days after you went back to New York. She was dragging, dragging me shopping when suddenly screamed and fainted. She was pointing at the corner of the room, but there was nothing there. Ghost! We brought her to the hospital and she says she's fine now, but she's been very on edge and paranoid. It's hard to explain. Dad's no help. Can you call and just try to cheer her up? She won't listen to me. Just don't tell her about this letter. I just hope she's okay, Jacko. Okay. Lauren, you seem concerned after our last phone call. I just wanted to write and reassure you that everything is F-I-N-E fine. Let us know when you're coming home. Again, for Thanksgiving with love, Mom and Dad Jack. Dear sis, Mom's getting worse. You said it best during Thanksgiving. It's like somebody's watching over her shoulder. Paranoia. She sits by herself for hours, pretending to read. When it's obvious she isn't, ghosts. Lightly, she's been covering her ears as if to try to keep out a sound. Ghosts and closing her eyes tight of ghosts. Dad's losing patience with her and the ghosts. He's convinced she's lost her mind, and I'm starting to agree. Ghosts. She refuses to get any kind of help. Ghosts. Why can't she see that over is a problem? That there is... Wait. Why can't she see that there is a problem? This isn't normal. Not normal at all. Ghosts, why can't we see why can't she see that? I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of scared. Scared for her. I don't know what to do, Jack. Lauren! It has a name. Is the name Joey? Mom locked herself in the bathroom this morning. She sounded like she was talking to herself in there. Well, not to herself. It was like there was somebody else there. Like a ghost, but there wasn't. I listened. I couldn't understand it, but she did say the name Joey was Joey. <laughs> okay, I asked her later who Joey was, and she got really scared. Then she got angry and said, If you know what's good for you, never mention that name again. What, what if you befriended a person named Joey? It's like... Uh, this could be the key. If we find out who Joey is, maybe we can save her. Jack. God damn it. It's a lot. Dear Lauren, while it's done, the final papers have been signed. It hurt a lot, but it had to be done. Mom has now been committed to a mental ward. I have to say I'm relieved. I know how you feel about it, but you weren't there. You didn't come home to see her screaming and tearing her hair out, running around the house, knocking down everything in her way. Cuts were all over her face, and the house was practically destroyed. I was so shocked I just closed the door and waited outside for dad to come home it was awful she clawed at him clawed at his face and drew blood it will haunt my dreams for the rest of my life thanks for coming out lauren i don't think dad and i could have handled it on our own she kind of drained us you know can i come to new york and visit i need to get away for a while jack Oh, congratulations, Sumna Cum Laude. I always knew you were a smarty pants, sis. Now you've got the doc documentation to prove it. Thanks again for letting me stay at your place for the weekend. It was just like old times, except you weren't smoking then. Oh, scandalous. New, New York is an amazing city, and Columbia has a great campus. I can't wait to move down there in September. But until then, I've got to deal with our grumpy old man. He's insufferable as always. Ever since Mom, he's been... Hard to talk to and very hard on me. I should tell him you're smoking now. Maybe then he'll concentrate on you for once. See you again soon, Jack. It's happened, Lauren. Just like you eventually said it would. I'm in love. Oh, Her name is Maria. She's from Italy. Italia! And we met in statistics class. She asked if she could copy my notes because her hand was tired. What? She, she still have to copy... The the note we ended up having lunch and we've been inseparable ever since she's incredible she's got the most amazing red hair and i want you to meet her i'll come by soon jack oh it sounds like infatuation that's great lauren are you all right ever since mom's funeral you've been hard to reach i know it's been hard on us but it's been six months i tried calling but you never answer i came by the other day but you didn't open the door i knew you were there lauren i could hear you i risked using the spare key you gave me but you changed the lock Come for dinner on Christmas Eve. Maria is a great cook. We won't ask any questions. Just come. Mom might be gone, but we're still here. I miss my big sister, Jack. Lauren. Who is Joey? I went over last week to give you a Christmas gift. You didn't answer the door, but I heard you talking to somebody named Joey. Ghost, is it a boyfriend? Are you seeing a man named Joey? Is it? Is that why you've dropped off the map? Or is it something else? I don't think I need to tell you what. For God's sake, talk to me, Jack. It's almost like there's a pattern, Jack. Lauren, I know you're annoyed, but I am not sorry. I didn't want to do it, but you left me no choice. Hiring a private detective to follow you was the only option left. 
He told me some odd things. You won't talk to me, but you'll talk to the total strangers. You'll go to every far corner of the city at the strangest hours, and you talk to yourself when you think you're alone. Don't deny it. He heard it, and so did I. Not that any of it made any sense. That alone is disturbing. Enough, but then we saw you collapse. Oh my god, we, you were all alone in some obscure park in the Bronx when you just fainted. He was about to call an ambulance, but then he saw you get up again and walk off like nothing happened. Ghost, you were always there for me growing up. Don't shut me out, sis. Let me be there for you now, Jack. Jacko, please stay away. Don't worry about me. There are things that need to be done, and I am the only one who can do them. Don't ask me to explain. All I can say is that I understand your, our mother more than ever. She was never crazy, Jacko. Trust me on this and take comfort in it. Why is this letter in here? You've grown up and you've grown tough and you don't need anyone to fight your battles anymore. You don't need me, but I'll always be your big sister, Lauren. I'm returning your letter because, oh, okay, I refuse to accept it. No, you don't need to fight my battles. I am not 14 years old anymore, but we are still family and that's important, especially now that dad has died. Look, you obviously have something going on, and that's fine. I don't have to be involved if you don't want me to, but I still want to... I still want you involved in my life. Maria and I are getting married in November. You are coming. No stupid excuses, Jack. Greetings from Greece! If there were any words to describe the beauty of this place, it still wouldn't do it justice. A perfect spot for a honeymoon. Things have been busy, as you can imagine, but I wanted to quickly write to... say that I'm glad you made the wedding. Okay. Of course, I'm still worried about you, but somebody has to be. You take care and stay in touch. Maria says hi. Jack. There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. Oh, wow, that, okay. All right, thanks for that. I guess I needed to at least flip through them, if not read them. Dear Aunt Lauren, yes, Aunt Lauren, you're an, you're an, you're an aunt. I'm a dad. Maria gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We named her Rosangela after Maria's grandmother. So wait, so was it adjoining? This was in 1976? That's such a... Oh, man. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why I'm so bothered by that name. It just seems so... I don't know. Fan fiction. Not that that's bad, but it's just kind of like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's so quiet. She hardly cries at all. I'm all set to spoil her rotten, but Maria says to take it easy. She looks just like her mother, and there's a bit of you in her eyes too, and mom and dad. Everything our family was or will be, this child is it. Certifiably insane. Ghosts. Life is changing so fast. I just want to hold on onto this tiny creature and never let go. The future is an exciting place, and I have everything I could ever want. I don't want anything to change. Ever. The law offices of Durkin and Goldberg. Dear Mrs. Blackwell, it is indeed within your legal rights to take custody. Custody? Of your five year old niece. Isn't that supposed to be custody? With the death of her parents, you are the only living relative. Please contact. Our office, and we will start the necessary paperwork. Sincerely, John Durkin. John Durkin. Hooray! We looked through all the stuff. Oh, that took forever. Okay. All right. Fucking phone call. All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for oh, submitting your last review on shit. time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment. Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. Oh, oh joy. Joanne Sherman. Well, that's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Okay. Listen. Speak to the RA, too. And hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't oh, do that, that stuff. Oh, you I fucking creepo. Versatility. No, make sure you score That's a picture of the girl. Who cares? She's Sherman's fucking dead. Covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. I do too. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? I don't know. I guess it keeps me writing, but oh whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. All right, yeah. It's let's... not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. All right, yeah. We can go over I mean, there. This isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter, sort of. Sort of. 
my old notepad should come in handy for this. Okay, are you picking these things up for me? Or, okay. Wait. Oh, okay, cool. All right, cool, it's this little task. All right, we gotta look at all this shit first. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. No, Auntie. I used to talk to this picture when I was a little girl, but not anymore. Okay, will you talk to yourself? When I was a little girl, I'd try to talk to my younger self in this picture. I was trying to give myself advice about the future. Did it work? It didn't work then, and I doubt it would work now. Anything else? Auntie Lauren. She took for most- I don't know Ah, I didn't mean to skip all that. It's me. I look scared out of- I don't remember when this picture was taken, but I look about four or five years old. Okay. Well, I don't care. <laughs> I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. Okay. I'm not up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them a dozen times. Okay. I must have watched all these a dozen times. Yeah, you said that. I, I thought she might I don't say to something it. about it. I know these plants are fake. Okay. It's fake, but kind of pretty. All right. Anything I can actually that I'm gonna need for my day? There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Okay. How about on the stove? Cook. Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? Because it's cheaper and maybe healthier. And okay. No. I open those curtains and a dozen windows can look directly in here. Those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. I agree. My window with the curtain. Yes. That's the only way to live. Uh, okay, so it looks like there's nothing else in here. Well, I can... I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. This is the only living plant I own. I bought it two years ago. Good. It's still living Good despite for you. my total lack of care. That's nice. Teddy bear. Griff is fine where he is. Griff. That's Griff, the P.I. bear. The P.I. I've bear. I've had him as long as I can remember. He's in horrible shape, but I don't have the heart to throw him away. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that smile. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh... I'm not ready for bed. Good. That leads to my bedroom. Okay. It's an oversized closet, but it suits me fine. That's fine. Can we go in your trash can? Oh, is there something in I there? I need to take the trash out. It's not even full. Well, why'd you walk over Just there? Just trash can filled with crumpled up novel ideas. All right. Okay. There's a wedding photograph. I don't want to ruin the picture. Just. That's uh, definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. It's a I ghost. It's a ghost. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. Cake? <laughs> Father? Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. Okay. Uh, that's all for that one. Let's look at Christmas. Nothing? Ah, uh, fuck that person. Okay. Alright, what? Why are there no prompts on this one? Weird. Well, okay. That's... that's nice. Alright, well, I guess we're done here. I guess we can go, uh... Hold on. Yeah. I guess we can just go... Go to where we need to go. Let's I'm check. not knocking on some stranger's door. All right, fine. What about, does Nishanti have something for us? Come in. Oh, yeah, let's go inside. Hello, Rosa. Hi. Come in. Come in. Don't mind the pooch. He's harmless. Oh, puppy. Hey, boy. Hi. <gasps> Greet Hi. the pooch. Um, dog. Now, his, his name's name is Moti, Moti, you idiot. What? Moti, see ya. You're no fun. Wait. Let me guess. You're hungry again. Oh, the puppy's so cute. Ah, oh, puppy's so it. cute. Okay. <laughs> make small talk. Make a joke. Make an observation. So. Okay. Um. 
Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? Thank Thanks her again. again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it we weren't must for be you. polite. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Oh, good. I'm glad. Really? It only lasted a few hours, according to the report on the radio. Oh my I suppose God. That's irony. I suppose so. Uh, ask about so, flute? You play the flute huh? Oh yeah, that's yes, right. I yeah. The flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Anyone Let's can see. play the kazoo. You strike me as being creatively inclined. It's like it's Are like painter. It's like not a being writer. able to play the triangle. Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Ooh, will, sick burn. <laughs> Ask that about dog. dog. Moti. He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. Such a he's sweet puppy. Shine to you, that's for sure. Huh. Yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. I I I a hope a pet. No, I really I hope. Teddy bear. <laughs> that Moti well, plays a right significant idea. role Moti's in this game. A thing, but you I want Moti to save he's very Rosangela active, from a ghost. Yes, that probably explains it. That's what I want. See that box of biscuits. I buy a new one every two days. Damn. He doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Oh, fuck yeah, I do. I want to do it. Offer to Could feed the dog. dog. Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. How are you not dead by eating so many treats? You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, I can't be but healthy. that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Uh huh. Well, it's not taboo exactly. It's just. It's just what? You no, know, just one of those unspoken things. <laughs> I found that most people are pretty friendly though. Once you take the first step, people have their defenses up most of the time. Well, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You know what others yeah, are like. Yeah, I do. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next That's thing nice. I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It hmm. gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it. Down. I will reopen that dog park. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Yeah. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Go! Some of them pull themselves at the fence door, trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high that must sound be it. That the dogs can hear, but we can't. But I know better. It must be something. It's not something sciencey. Science is bullshit. Things. It's ghosts. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. Scared What of was there to be scared of? Ghosts. I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me. You sensed it. Me? Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well... I'm not I'm going insane. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. I would like to leave. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come Bye. Come you'd like. Okay. So wait, do I have... Ooh, I do have a dog biscuit. Now, do I want to feed him it right now? Can I get another one? Because, like, what if you need that for a puzzle? What if I need to take a picture? Oh! Let me guess. You're hungry again? I'm kind of standing in your way, but I could... Go get it! Okay. Alright. Well, what if I... <laughs> you ruined my timing of my joke! Oh... I was gonna say, what if I need the dog biscuit to take a picture of the person? What? How do I use items? Mm, these dog biscuits are really mushy. Ew, gross. Like, I click it, and then I drag it down, and then it goes away. Like, what the fuck? How do I... What? Whoa! Alright, but this is the last one. <laughs> He's Go all... <laughs> He's all like, it's never the last one. Okay. Okay, let's just leave. I guess I'll figure out how to use items later. In this adventure game. Alright, okay, let's just go. Alright, well I can't go to the park anymore.
I can go to the Brittany Hall dorm. Ugh. With computer sounds. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. Aren't you 25? You're like not even that far Looks removed like from them. Alarm. There's nobody home. Oh, here's the RA's door. Hmm? <laughs> All right, Chad, how's it going? Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, my God. Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? <laughs> well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everything. Yeah, if you didn't know someone the in your dorm committed suicide. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? No. <laughs> well, uh, okay. I, uh, uh, I can't promise anything. That's up to me. Yeah, that's up to someone else. I'll level with you. My job here is already on the line, thanks to this mess. Yeah, because you fucked everything up. Word, unless I have your promise. I suppose I can give my editor a false name. That should be fine. What do you want to That know? should be fine. Uh, I was... I, how do I know that? Okay, well, whatever. Can you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Okay. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Until Her ghosts. Suicide came as a total surprise. They always do. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. Subtle. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. <laughs> Make sure you print it. Don't print it that I was up there on the roof, pushing her over. Would you have a I did it. Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Because you Just loved her. Me. You loved her, Adrian. Did I already ask you if you had a picture of Joanne? Yes, you did. And the answer is still no. You're lying to me. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained. Not yet. They seem to prefer what? It. No, sort of thing no, you no, no one would be cool with that. No one would be cool with that. The one floor, the one dorm that has an RA that's a dude, they would be like, no, fuck that. Uh uh, no, uh uh, nope, nope. You're creepy, well, you're now. creepo, motherfucker. Just remember, leave my name, creep asshole. I'm on to you, Adrian. I'm on to you. I'm not stealing stuff from college. Oh my god, look at it. Just look at Just it. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. Good. All right, great. There's nobody home. All right. There's nobody home. Ah, uh, okay. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. <gasps> Evidence. Grab it. It's a drinking Joanne and Kelly's door and another door. Let's, okay, let's go here. Yeah. Whoa. Announce yourself. Hi, I'm Rose Angela <laughs> Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No. No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? It's a newspaper. The, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. That doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. It doesn't what matter. Do you I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. Oh my I'm god. I'm midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look. So she killed herself. Big whoop. Whoa. Why is that my uh, I would like to make an observation so you here. And Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Yeah. Can you go away? No. Uh. Uh. uh it must have been hard. Living with someone you don't like? Yeah, what? I guess. Are you psychoanalyzing me now? Oh my god. What the hell do you know about it? You're really starting to piss me off. You were, you were so, you're so backpedaling and shit. No, I'm not backpedaling. I mean, you're being defensive. Sorry. But I'll apologize. Whatever. Whatever. Appeal to her better. She doesn't have a better name. Make it. 
Uh, let's make Look, a deal, I guess. Just a little bit about Joanne and I'll leave. Please. <laughs> that smile. Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the oh pressure, my God. so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? You're like no, a Stephen King Joanne, bully. Studied at our desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Okay. She, all right. Uh... Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Yeah, that's 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 always. Do you have a photograph God. of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. <laughs> yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Think again. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it. And keeps out of our way when we don't. Oh yeah, like, you think you think it's you think it's that you think so you think so, but you, you give him an inch and fucking. He installs cameras in your dorms when you're not there, and then fucking sh shits on the internet. Can you, you tell just me a little bit about yourself? No. Why do you? He's want a creep. Know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Hey, Can Kelly. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info. It's not like I'm writing an article about it in the fucking paper. Why would you want to know? Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like, I pay attention. You're the one that just said it! So Joanne was a good student. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh my god. Alright, goodbye. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, yeah, sure. You want a dog biscuit? There's nobody home. That's nice. Okay. Well, that... That had... That... Is that good? I mean, what do I do now? I couldn't get a picture though. Uh. I mean, is that. Do I need a picture? I have nobody to call. Well, call your editor and be like, hey, my work. Do research. Photograph. Nope. No photographs of Joanne online. That's impossible. There's, there's, that's, that's impossible. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. That's impossible. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have That's the only it. real thing that you've said so far about this. Nope, no information about Adrian. That can't be a, a thing. No, no information about Kelly. All right, that's great. That's not something I can look up. <laughs> Look that's it up not anyway. I can look up. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Uh Oh, I guess just write the fucking article, I guess. Hmm. I don't think I have enough information to write a full article. You don't? I should see what else I can discover. At the very least, I should try and find a picture. Okay. Well, all right. All right. Okay. I guess the picture is the flag here. We definitely need the, the picture. And I, I, I forgot to ask Adrian about the other, the other, uh, the other topics I got from talking to Kelly, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, <laughs> I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What I do you suppose want so. What can you tell me about Joanne's roommate? Kelly, have you met her? Yeah. It's quite a sight, huh? But don't judge her by that. What she's the, the sharpest kid you'll ever meet. She gets straight A's on everything. I don't give a shit. Yep, she's pre-med. She's pre-med? Wow, you better work in a lab or something or work on your bedside manner. You Jesus know Christ. Trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? All right. well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Oh, Do there's you know a new Kelly topic. No, it's not my place to ask. <laughs> it's well, not my place to ask. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put your name everywhere I can fucking put it. God damn it. Hey, Kelly. Yeah. So you've been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. Oh, okay. You or something? No, no. I'm just a reporter. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Do you have a photograph? Of Give me Joanne a fucking photograph. You want a what? I want a Just what? A I want a photograph. Right back. Yeah, right. You think uh, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's go back to the water fountain and see if we can pick you up that gum. I'm stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. Oh, uh, can we put the dog biscuit in? Why does it go away? How do you... Is this only for combining things? Like, is that... Mm, these dog biscuits are really mushy. Ah, okay. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Uh... Okay. Well, shit. Um... That's all the topics, and... I don't think there's anything... Oh, the fire alarm! I could pull the fire alarm. Uh, okay. It's time to be a felon. That's cool. That's nice. 